Okay, so the new model run has been released at least up to the point where it uh, includes the uh, Cyclone. So here we go, let's let it run. Um, there is a little bit of good news about this model run, um, but it's still going to be horrible results. Um, so let's see how this plays out. Um, so it has it forming and organizing further south than the last um, model run has it over the islands, but because the fact it's over the islands, it doesn't get as strong due to the mountainous re uh, uh, due to the fact it's over land a lot. Um, but um, it peaks with 955 millibars as it approaches land, but isn't expected to actually make landfall um, till around midnight on May 4th. Uh, central Daylight, t or I want to say Central Daylight Time. I could be wrong. With 973 millibars. Which would be equ a equivalent of a Cat 2 to Cat 3 hurricane. For those that use um, a saffron uh, scale. Um, for those who don't, this would be about, what? up to 115 mile per hour winds upon landfall still going to be de still going to be devastating for the area but but it's not going to be as severe as if it was the cat 4 um, cyclone with 130 plus mile per hour winds in the previous model keep in mind this is out quite far it will likely change but um it will likely change either for the better or for the wor worst from just taking this cy cyclone out completely versus it being a Cat 5 plus strength, um, like um, 200 mile per hour winds plus strength upon landfall. It could range, it has that large of a range um, with it. So, with that, that is it. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.